Welcome to Celebrity Sandwich. Woo! Hi, I'm Shane Delirium, and welcome to my home kitchen for Celebrity Sandwich. Today, I'm gonna to take you into my childhood and show you a dish that I grew up with, a dish that my dad taught to me, that my grandfather taught to him, and something now that I'm gonna share with you. It's a Maltese classic called Hos Bizet. It's really simple, but I'm gonna show you how you can pimp it up and make it your own. The version that I like doing starts with some simple ingredients, um, tomato paste, some capers, I've got some chives, and I think the chives are really lovely in there. And if you can't have onions, just omit them, but they're really nice and fresh, okay? Um, I've got some anchovies. I've just used some really beautiful Ortiz anchovies. They're nice and sweet and salty. If you don't like them, take them out. I've got some onions, and the onions I've used for this are just those little tiny pickled onions you can buy from any supermarket. And I've just taken them out of the jar and chopped them up really quickly so they're nice and sort of fine, so you're not biting into a big piece of onion. Some good salt, good pepper, Olive oil, get some good stuff, get something local, get something that you like. If you like something fruity, get it fruity. If you like it a bit more bitter and robust, make it happen there. Don't buy a cheap, weak, blended olive oil. It's not gonna work for this sandwich. I'm not negotiating on that one. I've got some of this really beautiful cheese now. This cheese is called Jbainit, and Jbainit is a Maltese cheese. Uh, it's a cow's and sheep's milk cheese. It's dried, rolled in pepper, so it's semi-firm, um, nutty sweet, um, and sometimes has a little bit of vinegar tones to it, okay? It's really, really, really lovely. The one last ingredient that I'm gonna add is I've got some dehydrated black olives. Now, this isn't something that you can find in your supermarket. This is something that my chefs and I have prepared in the kitchen back at Maha. Um, basically, what we've done is we've got black pitted olives, no pit in there, we've minced them up, we put them on trays and dehydrated them overnight, sometimes two nights, until they are like really crispy and then we blitz them up until they become really fine powder. And what that does is it really changes the flavor of the olive. Now, the most important part of the dish is the bread. I like something a little bit different. And one of my good mates at Baker Blue makes this amazing baguette. And what I love about it, it's really crispy. It's almost sweet. And when you cut it open, the inside of the bread just absorbs everything and it's chewy and it really adds so much to the sandwich. So enough talking, let's get started. Here we go. Now growing up, as a kid, my brother, my sister, my mum and dad, um, this would be our meal every weekend. Um, we'd get up in the morning, we'd help dad do the, you know, the outside chores, help mum with the inside chores, and then dad would dart down to the bakery, come home and set up his little ritual like this. And my dad is very methodical, unbelievably methodical. You think that this is the way that I'm just setting up for a cooking class. No, no, my dad would set up like this for every Saturday lunch. <laughs> but what dad would be absolutely crazy about was making sure that if the tomato paste that he uses spreads from edge to edge to make sure every bite of the sandwich is exactly the same. Now, you did hear me right, that is tomato paste. And you're probably thinking that something you cook with, that's not really something that you eat raw. But in Malta, this is our bread and butter. Excuse the pun. <laughs> so uh, this, is, this is actually a Maltese tomato paste called Consalva. Um, a little bit sweeter. You can use something local. Um, it's no problem at all. Um, you do wanna, be quite liberal, really good coat. And what's good about good bread is that it's got pockets inside. And those pockets are little surprises because you can smear it on and then when you bite in one bit, it's got a little pocket of tomato paste and it's a surprise as you're going through. And you can just imagine, you know, Shane Delia as a 10 year old boy going to school with a sandwich like this in his lunchbox. Uh, wasn't really what everybody else was eating. All right. That's the base done. So sandwich is about building. You need the, the base, which is the bread, and then you need an insulator, which generally protects the sandwich and stops it from going really crazy and soggy. The flavors that we're using, very simple, okay? Some capers. You don't want too much because a lot of these flavors are quite similar. They're quite salty. So if you go too heavy with everything, it just becomes a little bit, a little bit too much. You know, this is Mediterranean food. You know, it's gonna, it has to sort of, S taste and smell like the Mediterranean air. You want that beautiful salt. You know, you want that freshness in the, in the sandwich, okay? Next, those onions. In this sandwich, these little pickled onions chopped up are really, really, really nice, okay? So all I'm gonna use the onions on is the base, the flat bit of the baguette. If you don't like baguettes, you can use whatever you like, yeah? 
even a soft roll works really nicely. Now, I'm a big fan of anchovies, so you know, I'm sorry if I get a bit excited about these ones. These are really, really, really tasty. I think though, what you might wanna do is instead of just chucking them everywhere, just line them up a little bit. So when you bite into the sandwich, every bite is the same. If you just start throwing them everywhere, you might end up with a whole anchovy in your mouth and it might be a bit too intense. Next bit, the chives. Now the chives are gonna add some freshness because everything else that we put in there up to this point has been processed or pickled. So some chives are just really gonna bring it to life. Now the olives. Now these olives, like I told you, have been dehydrated. So they're a little bit different to what you'd probably used to, but they add a really lovely texture and flavor to the sandwich. We serve this dish at one of my little restaurants. I've got a meze bar called Mahaba. Um, this is one of our signature dishes in there. Um, and people are always wondering what's that flavor? Because it doesn't actually taste like, you know, olive that you're used to anymore. After it's been dehydrated and pureed up, it's actually quite sweet. Last ingredient before we start giving it its oil, the cheese. And the way I'm gonna use the cheese, you could just break it up with your fingers if you wanted to, but most people have got a microplane in their kitchen now. These are like essential. They're like a knife and chopping board. You need a microplane. Get the cheese and just grate it over the top. There you go, all done over the top. Don't go too heavy with this because it can start to get a bit, I suppose, fatty and mushy by the time you put the olive oil in there as well. You just want it there so some creaminess. Now, salt, not too much salt because you've got anchovies and pickled things in there. You just want enough to, just to season it. Good hit of black pepper, which will be amplified because that pepper cheese has got sort of black pepper around it as well. So this is really gonna help bring out that flavor. And finally, the king of ingredients, the olive oil. So we're just gonna give that a good drench. Now, when I say a good drench, I'm not joking, yeah? And then we're gonna come back and pass it around again to make sure all that oil gets through into the bread. It doesn't just sit on top of the tomato paste. So now the moment of truth. So we're gonna close it up. Looks good already. <laughs> we're gonna cut that in half because otherwise I'm gonna end up wearing that all the, down my shirt. And for me, that's everything a good sandwich should be. It's tasty. It fills my belly, but more importantly, it nourishes my soul and reminds me of happier times. It's amazing how a sandwich could do so much. Unsliced, man. Butter. Butter's better. Ooh. Black. Right down the middle. I'm always a down the middle guy. Crust on. You can't even beat crust off. I'm definitely crunchy. Crunchier the better. I'm a Vegemite guy. Ah, oh, Reuben all day, baby. Reuben all day. Mmm, depending on the day. But today, madame. Ugh, egg salad. It's katsu sando all day, baby. Ooh, schnitties. Schnitty sandwich. <laughs> My hobs visit. Do you have to ask? Sandwiches, man. It's all about the sandwich. Sandwiches can be whatever you want them to be. But there's a couple of things you want to remember. Good bread. Get the best bread you can get. Get it fresh and get a style that you like. Whether it's Wonder Loaf with soft edges, great. Or it's something crunchy and sexy like this, just get it. It's the most important thing. Secondly, the fillings. It's all about the fillings. Just put things inside that you like. You're just wrapping it in good bread, simple stuff inside. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make my version of Hobbs Bizet. My name's Shane Delia. This is my home kitchen. Make sure you jump on Victoria together to learn how to make some more amazing celebrity sandwiches. Bugger off. Let me enjoy my sandwich. <laughs>